longtime member of the Edmonton Oilers, a longtime teammate of Dave Semenko's, uh, Charlie Huddy joining us now. Charlie, just to get the news that we got today, just how tough was that to, to swallow? Yeah, you know what? It was really tough. I mean, uh, Kevin and Paul called me last night from, from the hospital. I was in Winnipeg at development camp, and I just I, I couldn't believe it because, you know, I had talked to Semenk before we, we went to the draft and said, you know, I get back, I'll come out and see you, and, you know, and, and whatever. And then those guys making the call last night, and then, I got on a plane early this morning, and um, you know, unfortunately, it passed away. But uh, it's devastating. I think it's like everybody in this room kind of feels the same way, and I'm sure there's there's a lot of fans that feel the same way. To celebrate his life would be the right thing because he was one of the funniest guys I've ever met. I'm sure you you share that sentiment. Uh, what were some of the best things about Dave's character? I know everyone was intimidated by him on the ice. <laughs> and off the ice until you actually talked to him. Yeah, what yeah. were some of the things you loved about him? Uh, you know what, I, I think just the person that he was, you know, I, I mean, I, I talked a little bit about in my first couple of years, I lived like 10 minutes away from him, so I used to pick him up and ride to the rink together and we'd have we'd have a few laughs, but he was, he was just a genuine person, loved everybody, but when people saw him, they kind of feared him until, like you said, until they got to yeah. know him and he actually, he, yeah, he actually talked to them and he had a few... He had a few good lines, and then everybody would start laughing, and, and, and away you went. But, um, you know, everybody everybody saw what they saw on the ice from the kind of player that he was, the tough guy that he was, and, you know, the, the player that he was. But it was the it was the stuff in the dressing room and, like you said, the stuff away from the rink that really made him uh, made him, made him a special person. What will be your lasting memory of Dave Semenko? Uh, <laughs> prob probably the one... When uh, when he did get traded to Toronto and I was playing in Edmonton still and I had to I think I was playing with Goff at the time still and I had to go back and get the puck and um, I knew he was on the ice and I knew he was coming and then he's he gave me a big yell and he said look out I'm coming and That's he the just voice he actually <laughs> yeah, always had too yeah he was, like it was perfect that I just looked and he was he kind of had a little bit of a smirk on his face and I just kept. I got the puck and kept going, and I, I hope he had no intentions of hitting me, but I, I, I think that was the plan. But it was, uh, it was a pretty, pretty funny moment to go along with, uh, go along with a lot of other ones. Charlie, uh, always great to see you. Uh, okay, thanks for doing this. Okay, Appreciate good. It. Yeah, thanks.